Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Cypress video, I'm going to cover about scroll into view and scroll to method. So what exactly is scroll into view? Scroll into view will scroll an element into the view. For example, here in the Parabank website, if I see here, if I want to look at the footer, right? So I have to scroll down and see what all details are there. Okay. So scroll into view, for example, I want to scroll the locations web element into the view so I can use scroll into view provide the locator of that particular web element and then scroll it to, into the viewport. Okay. Similarly, scroll to is to scroll to a particular position. Okay. For example, position, I can say top, bottom, left, right, etc. Right, bottom, left. So I can specify the position, I can specify the X and Y coordinate, I can specify position with options, X, Y with options, right? And these options are supported almost every method within Cypress. So if we say scroll into view, you'll see different options, duration, easing, etc. right? Timeout, you can specify. Now let's quickly understand and see the demo, how you can use scroll into view and scroll to into Cypress. So what I'll do is I'll simply go ahead and let me close this and what I'll do clear text. I'll copy this particular clear text method, rename this and I'll say demo scroll test dot cy dot js. Okay. So now here I simply want to go to that particular website. Okay. And then make sure that we scroll down. Okay. So let me go back here and remove so i'm just visiting this particular web and here i'll say scroll demo rename the test to scroll demo okay so now if i go here uh, and open demo scroll test it should open that particular page and you will see that there is a scroll that i can do to reach to the bottom now if i say scroll into view what how we can use it so we say scroll into view you can see the commands here okay so let me go up a little bit and see the syntax so scroll into view directly so for example, I get the locator of the web element and then say dot scroll into view and the scroll will happen and bring that web element into the viewport. Okay. Similarly, I can also specify different options. So for example, I want to have the or provide the offset uh, above this particular web element. 20 pixels or 50 pixels above this or below this. I can specify top and left pixel position also timeout. Okay. So for example, let's see that this one first, let's see that I want to scroll to the bottom. All right. So scroll to is the best method to scroll to the bottom because I can specify the bottom position to scroll to the bottom, right? So to use the scroll to, you can simply say cy dot scroll to, or you can also specify, you can get the locator. So you can say cy dot get, okay, get the locator and then scroll to center of that particular locator right so scroll to the center of the list so this is the movie list for example i can get the footer of uh, fo locator for the footer and i can say center of the footer right to the footer using the scroll so let's use this cy dot scroll to to the bottom and simply scroll to the bottom of the page so i'll simply say cy dot scroll to to bottom and save it and then see the execution You'll see automatically it has scrolled to the bottom of the page and you, you can see the footer easily. If I comment this out, okay, the viewport doesn't show me the bottom position. Okay, it will only show or remain at the top. So this is basically how you will use scroll to. Now I can say scroll to bottom and then I can also specify other locate uh, other options there. Okay, for example, positions I can say again, I want to scroll to the top. I'll simply start typing in the location where exactly i want to scroll to okay so i'll say top and then it will start moving to the top so it went to the bottom and then quickly went to the top again now i want to say scroll into view okay so for example i want to scroll this particular products or say about us okay into the view so i'll simply get the locator of that particular web element copy this okay and then i'll say after going into the top I'll say cy dot get locator and then say dot scroll into view. Okay. So when we say scroll into view, it will bring that particular web element into the viewport. Okay. So again, the bottom of that particular page should be in the view. So you'll see if I highlight this, you will see about us is highlighted and this is into the view now. Okay. So this is basically how you are going to use scroll to 
and scroll into view this is a demo of it now few more things i want to cover okay so you get absolutely comfortable with the scroll into view and scroll to so when we say scroll into view let's go to the options okay so in the options you can specify any of these for example i want to scroll over a particular web element for a particular duration okay so i can say duration and then specify the duration okay offset timeout etc and if you scroll down you will be able to see different examples right so this is example of scrolling into view and then also validating that it should be visible right so i can use the validation as well and i'll cover validations in much more detail in a completely separate section okay so here you can see that scrolling over a 2000 millisecond right so this is using the option okay so duration these options that i was discussing right so i can specify the duration so in the curly brackets simply colon separated you provide the value okay similarly the offset has been provided then if we go further down to scroll to so in the scroll to we can simply say cy dot scroll to and specify the position as we have done here okay to scroll to bottom or top or top left etc or you can say cy dot get okay to get the element locator so if you scroll down here so i can say get the locator of a particular list all right and then say scroll to center of okay then i can also use the coordinates i want to scroll 500 px down the list okay or say in this particular case i am saying top and bottom okay but i simply want to scroll 250 px across bottom okay so i can say cy dot scroll to and we know that on the x-axis i do not want to move anywhere okay so i'll simply say keep it zero okay so x axis, axis is zero and the y-axis i want to move say for example 300 p that's it okay so save it and then it should scroll that so it should go down up uh, it went so quick that we couldn't even see right so you'll see that at this particular position it did execute it went bottom then top and then so let me do one thing let me comment out these and let's see whether it scrolls yeah you can see i mean with 300 it almost went through to the end of the page but if we say for example i just say 100 okay and see what happened yeah you can see that it just scrolled 100 px down okay so this is how you are going to use scroll into view and scroll to methods in cypress so that's all for this video in the next video i'll cover some more action methods within cypress thank you see you in the next lecture